What up, folks? I'm Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the SH Figure Arts Common Rider, Shin Common Rider. That's right. We have another Shin in town. We like ourselves some Shins. Don't scrape them up. And it's Shin Common Rider. The movie just released in Japan, I believe. I think. I think so. Or maybe it's pre-screenings, little screenings. I don't know. I think it released, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Anywho. Um, this is nice packaging, nice glossy pictures of Shin Kamen Rider the toy on there. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I definitely knew I wanted this because, you know, Shin Universe stuff. We have Shin Godzilla. We've done plenty of the more recent Evangelions, Evo O ones. Uh, now we needed a uh, Shin uh, Kamen Rider and Shin Ultraman, of course. Um, Shin Kamen Rider. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the movie. I'm really am. I got this from Ami. Ami, uh, and it got here blazing a quick speed, like a day and like a couple hours, I think, uh, from like the email to my doorstep. That was insane. You know, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it just flies right through everything, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it was through DHL, and that's, you know, it could go either way. Um, but I'm really excited to get this one. It looks really cool. It's got, you know, it's got soft goods and stuff. That's very, very cool. There's a little write-up in there if you want to pause it and read it. Um, more write-up there. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Really nice packaging. I really do dig in. There he is inside. So, you know, simple style and heroic action. Why not? There I say, why not? That's not my line, and I'm sorry. But without any further ado, let's get the bird. And there's Kamen Rider out of the package, but before we get to him, he comes uh, with a bunch of extra hands. Some karate chopping hands, some more like splayed hands, kind of pointing-ish types, and fist hands, and he's got regular like kind of relaxed open hands on. So you get some uh, cool hands. They are actually really nicely sculpted as well, as you can see, just done in green. But they look very good. And the only other accessory he does come with for this release is uh, this really nice soft goods uh, jacket. I really like it. I think it turned out pretty good. It's got a bendy wire all along the edges here, which is fantastic. So you can, you know, do a variety of uh, poses uh, with it. I do dig that. It's just in black, but you got some nice buttons on there on both sides. <laughs> There's no <laughs> buttoning this one up. Uh, it's got this strap going around here if you wanted to tie it, you know, closed. Uh, but it does look better open with his little scarf in the middle. Uh, you know, I think that looks pretty good. But yeah, the coat is very nice in my opinion. It doesn't look too, too clunky, I guess, uh, as some of these things usually do, but... I mean, it's a little bit clunky, but it's not super bad. I think it works. I think they did a decent job. I, I honestly do. I, I do like it. Um, all the seams seem fine. <laughs> um, you know, no stitching out of place that I can tell as of yet. A little bit of a dust magnet I'm noticing, but, you know, these things usually are. Like little lints. Uh, as are real jackets, right? Uh, but I like it. I think it looks really good. I will say uh, when you're putting it on, uh, at least the first time you probably will notice this, like it's very easily done what I did, but I turned his like arm joint completely around inside. The socket in there went like upside down. And when I tried to put his arm down, it was stuck because it was upside down. So do be careful with that, uh, you know, when you're trying to get the sleeves in. But, you know, it looks pretty good. I do like it. And it went in pretty easy. So, you know, nice jacket to uh, put on and take off. That's what the inside looks like. So, yeah, very nicely. And here's done. a figure without the jacket. And since we talked about, like, the joint, let's do the articulation. The head moves up and down nicely. I don't know if it's a ball joint, if it's one of those, like... Like straight joints, kind of like the uh, Ultraman figures. I'm not going to try to take it off. There's no reason for me to take it off. The neck has a separate joint at the bottom, which works great. He has a butterfly joint, which is excellent. And then, you know, you could move it up and down like that. The This is interesting. Well, first, 
the uh, neck tie here can swivel around and then this part here is on a ball joint so you can move that out of the way what i found interesting is is his chest plates are also on ball joints uh, which could get annoying <laughs> if they start popping out on you uh, but that helps with the butterfly joint stuff you know you could go further inward which is nice I, I do dig it you can turn this around a bit as well you have a double jointed elbow which is excellent no bicep swivel again this is one of my big complaints with you know figure art stuff and then you have a hinge and you could swivel the the wrist around the waist moves like so back and forth up and down and so does the chest well, diaphragm joint which works really well do be careful you have these things that hang down back here so uh it's gonna stop at those things uh you know they kind of look like ties as well uh that are just sculpted in it's very interesting i can't wait to see about get a better look at these in the movie uh but it looks like part of the armor more than like separate ties could be wrong about that again but everything you know and the waist and the chest moves really really nicely i really like it a lot actually um the legs not so much i don't feel like there's any drop down joint which is a bummer because that's about all you can do with this guy uh as far as outward split that i've been able to notice so far and that's a bummer he can't kick that much and really nothing back so that's for your rider kicks, I, think, I feel like that's a little bit of bummer. Then you have the really ugly thigh joint. I can't understand why they cannot make a nice looking thigh joint at Figure Arts at Tamashi. It is just ludicrous, in my opinion, um, that a company like this gives us joints like that. That's no good. Double jointed knee. And this is a complaint I have all the time. <laughs> with figure arts uh and it's a complaint because you know i'm not gonna just say you know, oh i'm used to it now i'm not gonna complain about it um no they, they should figure out a better way <laughs> i mean a simple little cut there will suffice like just i i don't get it i, I just i never get it double joint to knee did i say that already i'm sorry uh joint hinge joint at the foot you can rock it as well and then you have the hinge at the toes so you know it's it's good it's it's um it's figure arts and um, you know it's got all the figure arts joints you might think of um you know uh, and it could it could it's good but it could also be better that's i feel like that's my complaint sometimes with these guys for as much as they have I, i'm still wanting you know more out of them it, it, it is a, a a thing that i always have uh, with SHF, and you know, I, I know a, lo a lot of people love them because of the articulation, but I think they could be better even. But taking a look at this guy in full, it looks really nice. It has a really nice finish to it. I haven't seen anything like out of place either. Very nicely done. The proportions are, uh, I'd say, a little bit odd. You know, I feel like the the shoulders, even though you could stick them up, just kind of look a little odd. Uh, in comparison to the neck, which is, like, really, really long, if you look at it. Uh, <laughs> I know they did it, you know, to add this in, I guess, but, and have some clearance, but, man, he's got a long neck. And if it's not coming across on camera, wait till you see it, if you do see it in person. It's just, like, look where his hair, which is supposed to, like, you see how it's curling down like that? It's supposed to just be flat against the shoulders and it's just just a lot of neck it's just a lot of neck and it's not uh, completely obvious especially with the coat on which is part of the point uh, i guess but he does have a lot of neck and you do see his human neck on there which i do like um the little necktie neckerchief <laughs> bandana looks really good you know it's just in red but it's got like a nice shape to it so i do like that um, we showed you the hair. We, me, I showed you the hair, and that looks pretty good. Again, it comes up a little bit there, like it's supposed to be resting. Um, then the back of the helmet looks really cool. Look at that. Very nicely done. Check that out. Really nice. I like all the little, what looks like metallic rivets, you know? 
really, really nice. I love the color there. That looks great. The little Tampo printed uh, logo there looks really nice. The sides of the helmet look awesome. Again, a lot of those little rivets again. Beautifully done. Really great shape, man. And the finish, like that kind of matte finish is just awesome. It's got like a satiny look to it as well. The uh, bottom faceplate is great. I love the color. It's really nice, kind of like a dark turquoise. Really, really cool looking. Very, very nicely done. He's got this little middle thing right there. And then he's got the two antenna, which are really nicely shaped in silver. The bug eyes look great. I like them a lot. Of course, you know, it looks like he has an eyeball because I have one circle light on there. Um, now he's got two. Ah! But very nice <laughs> regardless. Um, kind of like a light pink inside there. Peach pink, which is cool. And then, you know, all the little, you know, compound eyeness of like a bug. Looks really cool. And of course, there's like a nice clear plastic over them which just just makes it look fantastic honestly the chest piece is awesome like i said the shoulder uh the armor is movable on the chest but again that same color turquoise really really well done beautiful looking look at all those little grates on the bottom that is cool like little air vents very nice and again little silver rivets look awesome Really, really cool. I like it. Like, and they kind of look like they're soldered in, which is nice. Then again, you got the black kind of matte satiny look somewhere in the middle there, like leather. Looks really good. Nice folds and wrinkles there. Both sides looks good. Then the more like army green gloves. These gloves look really cool. Little driving gloves. But the gauntlet part looks really nice. Like the shape of them on both sides. Excellent. The back, you saw this before, but it looks really cool. Again, the texture of the uh, jacket looks great. Uh, of the suit, whatever, you know. And then uh, oh, going down, not much buck going on there. <laughs> but a lot of nice folds and wrinkles there. Really cool on both sides. Especially around the knees. Great sculpt work get back to the belt in a second since we're down here the boots look really good again that same kind of army green as the gauntlets and gloves very nice he's got little heels that's fine as a rider usually does yeah looking good looking good and then the belt man looks awesome look at that really really nicely done silver reds blacks very cool really well done i love the glossy white of the belt itself it looks like cody rhodes's belt look the side angle of it looks really good if you turn it this way you still got more sculpt work on the bottom of uh these things on the side very cool the belt buckle on the back looks great Love these little holes in the middle there, like fake holes. Man, that's a beautiful belt. Really beautiful sculpt. And all the paint is in place. It's just excellent. It's just really, really excellent, guys. Um, this is a nice figure. You know, like, you know, I, I said the shoulders, I said the neck, but... It's a little odd proportion, and I'll stick to that. A lot of it is the way they just, you know, do their overall sculpts and the problem I have with SHF in general, usually. But, you know, what is here is fantastic. No, no, no messed up paint anywhere. Um, and just a beautiful finish. Really, really excellent. I, I, I honestly, I absolutely love this figure. Um, oh, and the belt is a floating piece, by the way, which is cool. So yeah, good stuff here. Uh, I think, I think they nailed this. I think this looks fantastic, honestly. 
So, uh, very cool. You know. The the thing is, uh, you know, unless I see the movie, I don't know, like, I, I don't know if let's say Mafex is doing one. I know we, you know, did multiple Shin Ultramans. He has the Mafex uh, version. Um, still my favorite version. Like, I don't know if they do a Shin Kamen Rider if I'm going to be as in as I was with this. Um, I love Ultraman that much more, but, I mean, this design is excellent. There is Shin Kamen Rider 2 spoilers. <laughs> I mean, it's been spoiled everywhere already. Um, that is an SHF. That's a P Bandai exclusive. That's up for order right now. You can actually order it through the P Bandai US store, which is what I'm going to be doing. Because um, I, I think I need to have it because um, this figure is excellent and he definitely needs a dance partner. So good stuff. Good stuff. We're going to get a bike. Let's get a bike. Let, let's just go all in. Let's do it. I'm in. Let's go. And just a real quick, as I put on the jacket, the uh, the hair does sit on the jacket nicely. So I guess that's the point of that. You know, that long neck is uh, so the hair sits on the jacket. Like I said, he does look a lot better with the jacket on, uh, which is probably the way I'm going to keep it. So that's good. And for your size comparisons, here is the Shin World Heroes all uh, together for the first time. And um, yeah, they look good. You know, they're cool. Uh, for those that are wondering, nope, I'm not getting a Night Combat version of uh, Shin Godzilla. Uh, four of this mold is quite enough for me. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> spending my money on that again. And, um, you know, I, I believe there's re-releases of these guys out there right now. So if you missed Shin Ultraman or, um, I guess, Shin Evangelion there, Evo 1. Uh, not really call that, but, you know. Um, yeah, you should get them. They're good. Especially EVO 01. EVO 01 is absolutely fantastic. Um, one of the, the best figures, uh, that they've done for Robot Spirits. So, really dig that one. Uh, Shin Ultraman's okay. Shin Godzilla, your mileage is gonna vary. And, uh, you know, now Shin Kamen Rider. He is very, very good. And one more comparison for you. Here is, uh, the, uh, Shin Kamen Rider movie monster series figure I reviewed a little while back. Um, a couple months back? A month back? Something like that. Anywho, here they are together. I mean, there's really no comparison. Uh, the uh, SHF is just miles better than it. And my final thoughts. Well, I really dig this figure overall. Let's get that out of the way. I think it's a really great figure. You know, the total package. Yes, there's things about it that could be better. Some of the portions are a little weird. Some of the articulation, especially in the legs, should be better than it is. You know, like, but... Uh, it's still good looking. The finish is so nice. The coat is really nice. I, I don't know. I really dig it. It has a lot of presence, this figure. Um, and that's a good thing. That is a really good thing. It, you know, it makes it stand out. Uh, I think of the Shin World Heroes figures that you just saw. I mean, I do love Evangelion, but like overall the look is uh with this one it is just really really nice looking so i think they did a good job here i think it's worth getting um especially if you want to have a representation of all of the shin heroes this one just really does work and it does look very very good and there you go guys that's my review hope you dug it let me know your thoughts down below and if you could please like comment subscribe and share check me out on facebook and instagram stay safe till next time peace out peeps